Hello everyone, myself Dr. Manoj Kumar, working as an assistant professor in department of EC at MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Today I am going to deliver a lecture talk on frequency synthesizer. This is overview of my presentation. First of all, I would like to discuss the basic concept of an frequency synthesizer. Thereafter, I will be taking the classification, construction, working principle and some of the application of frequency synthesizer. Basic concept as the what do you mean by what do you mean by frequency synthesizer? A frequency synthesizer is an electronic device that generates a range of frequency from a single reference frequency that is the important part of a frequency synthesizer means it will generate a multiple range of frequency from a given single input frequency let us understand with the help of some block diagram suppose this is frequency this is frequency synthesizer we will provide some suppose 1 megahertz input we can get multiple range of frequency suppose 0 0.5 megahertz 1 kilohertz 10 kilohertz so frequency synthesizer is an electronic device that will generate multiple frequency from a single given input frequency or single reference frequency what is the purpose of frequency synthesizer the purpose of frequency synthesizer is that it is widely used in the communication systems it is widely used in the communication systems also it is used to test the equipments testing of equipment and also used in the signal processing of different different frequencies so purpose of frequency synthesizer is that it is widely used in the communication system test equipment and signal processing circuitry what are the key features key features of an frequency synthesizer is that its accuracy its accuracy and stability these are some of the key features of the frequency synthesizer it has high accuracy and it should be highly stable it should have wide range of frequency means at the output we should get a wide frequency range so that is one of the key features of frequency synthesizer and it's obviously it should have the low noise so these all are the key features of an frequency synthesizer so basically frequency synthesizer is an electronic device that will generate multiple frequency range from a given single reference frequency so let us classify the frequency synthesizer under different categories so types of frequency synthesizers we have various types let us discuss one by one so we have direct analog synthesizer it uses analog component like oscillator mixers to generate the frequencies then we have direct digital synthesizer which convert digital data into analog waveforms using a digital to analog converter then third type of frequency synthesizer is phase locked loop phase locked loop frequency synthesizer which generates the frequency by locking the phase of generated signal to a reference signal so it will detect the phase of reference signal and generates the frequency accordingly so we have phase lock loop synthesizer then we have fractional n synthesizer 
what do you mean by fractional n synthesizer it is also a type of variable pll synthesizer allowing a finer frequency steps so these are basically four types of frequency synthesizer direct analog synthesizer direct digital synthesizer phase lock loop synthesizer which is also known as pll synthesizer then we have fractional n synthesizer so these are basically four types of frequency synthesizer available in the market what are the key component of a frequency synthesizer let us understand the key component how to construct a frequency synthesizer in order to construct any frequency synthesizer we have to provide a reference oscillator here the oscillator is nothing but a circuitry which generates the continuous square wave or sine wave so reference oscillator is nothing but it is a circuitry which generates a continuous sine wave or square wave we and this reference oscillator provides a stable reference frequency so in frequency synthesizer we will see oscillator so oscillator we have to assume that it is nothing it is an electronic circuit which will generate a continuous sine wave or a continuous frequency a continuous square wave of a fixed frequency so you take one reference oscillator then we have phase detector second point is phase detector what is the work of phase detector this phase detector will compare the phase generated signal to the reference so it will compare the reference signal and the generated signal and it will try to find out its phase that is the work of phase detector then we will have the voltage controlled oscillator the work of voltage controlled oscillator is that based on the input voltage it will generates the signal at the output of different different frequency if you will give the more input voltage at vco suppose this is vco if you provide some input voltage corresponding there will be a change in the frequency of signal so it is name is voltage controlled oscillator how the oscillator is controlled by giving the certain amount of voltage so that is third component of the frequency synthesizer is that you have to take a voltage control oscillator then we have divider network what is the work of divider network it will divides the frequency for comparison with the reference so suppose as per the need it will follow some divide rule and it will divide the reference frequency as per our need to get the multiple range of frequency at the output so divider network it will divide the frequency loop filter so see obviously if there is some high frequency signal there will be noise also so in order to eliminate the noise we have to apply some filters which will eliminate the noise and it will stab stabilize the circuitry so in the diagram we can see that this is our reference oscillator and we have divide some uh, divide by m counter circuit which will divide the things and we have the phase comparator this phase comparator will compare the generated phase and the reference phase and accordingly it will pass to low pass filter and this generated phase in terms of voltage will control the oscillator frequency so it is a feedback loop system so basically in general we can understand that frequency synthesizer will consist of a master oscillator and uh, divided by n divider circuit and whenever the master oscillator will be applied to phase comparator and this divided by n signal 
will get compared and accordingly the proportional voltage will be generated and this proportional voltage will generate a output frequency which will be given by n by m into f reference so this is your reference frequency so the basic role is, role of frequency synthesizer is that suppose if you have taken 1 megahertz frequency based on divide by n you can get 1 kilohertz 10 kilohertz 100 kilohertz like that so multiple range of frequency we can get from a single master frequency using this circuitry which is nothing but the frequency synthesizer working principle so reference oscillator provides a stable frequency obviously the already i discussed the phase detector detector will compares the reference frequency with the divided output frequency the loop filter will try to smoothen out the error signal from the phase detector obviously if there is some phase difference between the generated signal and reference signal that loop filter will be try to nullify those things the error signal adjusts the vco the error signal will try to adjust the vco which generates the desired output frequency so vco is nothing but the voltage controlled oscillator uh, the filter output will be given to the vco and in vco will further try to change the frequency signal as per our need the feedback loop ensures the output remain output frequency remain locked to the reference so this feedback loop will ensure that the output frequency remains locked to the reference so what are the application of frequency synthesizer the application of frequency synthesizer is that it provides a high degree of stability wide frequency range low phase noise easy integration with digital systems so and in application we can see that these were the advantages high frequency wide frequency range low phase noise easy integration with digital system what are the application application is that it is widely used in the communication systems test and measurement equipment radar systems consumer electronics so in communication system we can see that it will help to generate the carrier signal for the radio transmitter in test and measurement equipment the signal generator and spectrum analyzer we can use frequency synthesizer in radar system we can generate a stable local oscillator signals already i told that frequency synthesizer has very high degree of stability consumer electronics we have the wireless communication devices which are using the frequency synthesizer to generate a multiple frequencies so these are some of the advantage and application of frequency synthesizer what are the challenges in designing the frequency synthesizer synthesizer the first and foremost challenge is that the it has phase noise at high frequency it has high degree of phase noise and what is the solution in order to eliminate the phase noise we can use the advanced filtering techniques and improve vco design for the better performance so in this way we can design the frequency synthesizer and we can also overcome the challenges associated with the frequency synthesizer thank you